those of you that are here today who has heard or seen in the movie Scarface or The Godfather, if you have seen one of these two movies, you would be familiar with the concept of organized crime. Organized crimes have been occurring in the United States for centuries, making its biggest impact during the Prohibition era. Growing up around law enforcement, I have had multiple stories, I've heard multiple stories about crime, and through my research, I'm able to share the time in American history where organized crimes may have been most impactful. Today I will be sharing information on how the Prohibition era affected the beginning of the organized crimes and the impact it had on America and the Constitution. First, let's look at how the 18th Amendment affected organized crime. In the 1920s, the 18th Amendment <coughs> of the United States Constitution banned the manufacturing, transportation, and sale of intoxicating liquors better known as the Prohibition. The Prohibition did not make the consumption of alcohol illegal, so any alcohol or liquors Americans had stashed away during this time was theirs to keep and consume. For the brewers and winemakers, they still had to think of new ways to produce and sell their products. Uh, this, was more, this was a struggle for more than the ones who were manufacturing it for the local and federal government. Uh, they were struggling to enforce the new amendment. Uh, this would lead to bootlegging, which is the transportation and sale of in the intoxicating liquors. The History Channel website over the topic of Prohibition states that the Prohibition era encouraged the rise of criminal activity associated with bootlegging. For instance, Al Capone and Charles Lucky Luciano both became infamous for this during this time. Now that you have the basic background information on prohibition and bootlegging, we will now look into the money effect it had on America. Uh, once criminals realized that they could make a living off bootlegging and reverse it into a business, they took over the underground world that many people did not know existed. There were many gangs formed during this time in the United States, stated in the, on the website Prohibition and Interactive History written by the mob museum, the new alcohol trafficking gangs across many ethnical lines such as Italian, Irish, and Jewish who worked together in this time period. Many of the gangs were violent which led to shootings, bombings, and killings. More than a thousand people killed. Uh, I will be showing you a video from the 1954 movie Some Like It Hot. Uh, it was about the mob hit Al Capone had sentenced to gun down seven rival gang members by a firing squad. Goodbye, Charlie. No, Spats, no! No, Spats, please, no, no! I think I'm gonna be sick. At this time in New York and Chicago were the places to be if you were in the bootlegging business. Again, the website on prohibition and interactive history sourced over the issue of organized crime declared that in the 1920s Al Capone reached an estimated net worth of $100 million. Today, that in perspective would be $1.4 billion. Uh, in New York, uh, Lucky Luciano was a notorious criminal who knew how to work the underground world with an incoming net worth of 12 million a year in 1925, but subtracting 8 million to pay off the law enforcement politicians he had on his side. This was the reason why organized crimes were so effective. Bootlegging was quite effective as you can tell from the information. Now let's examine how this continued on to another decade in American history. While the 18th amendment did not succeed as planned, it costed the federal and state government billions of dollars in tax revenue. As reminded, many bootleggers built empires out of the illegal sale and distribution of alcohol which consumed into the 1930s. Later on found on the website, uh, United States Constitution designed and maintained by C. Mount says, the 18th article of the amendment to the Constitution of the United States 
is hereby repealed, basically stating that the transportation or importation into state, territory, or possession of the United States for delivery uh, or the use therein of intoxicating liquors of the laws, therefore hereby is prohibited. As you can tell, the Prohibition era had an enormous impact on the way organized crimes were created in the system of bootlegging. Even though if you did not know about the organized crime before today, I hope you gained a slight understanding of how it functions. The 18th Amendment caused the banning of the manufacturing, or the 21st Amendment caused the banning of manufacturing of trails and sales and of intoxicating liquors, which had which led to the prohibition era. Bootlegging criminals were able to find ways to work the underground world and, and succeed in businesses creating their empires. Many people did not know organized crimes were happening in the 1920s and still do not know it is happening today. 